Live from New York, it's theCUBE. Covering AWS Summit New York 2018. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back everyone, it's theCUBE live in New York City for AWS Amazon Web Services Summit 2018. I'm John Furrier, we're here with Matthew Polly, VP of Worldwide Alliances for a hot company called CrowdStrike. We had your CEO on at AWS Public Sector Summit, Dimitri. Matthew, CTO. Thanks, for, thanks for coming on. CTO, Yeah. sorry, founder. Co-founder. Co-founder and CTO, CTO, that's right. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, absolutely. So Long you guys, time listener, first time caller. Big time, yeah. big time funding, had a great conversation. You guys are growing very fast. Yeah. Funding evidence of that. Uh, security's hot, Amazon relationship is very strong, both commercial and, and government. Um, what's going on with the news? Well, you guys, the hot news. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, really exciting times at CrowdStrike. I mean, you've got uh, a lot of threats coming in, so there's enormous demand coming from a variety of public sector and private clients. Fueled the funding, fueled our growth. We're seeing enormous growth, over 300% growth in, in some areas. Um, you know, and, and really just kind of penetrating some of these key markets like public sector, which we did, you know, announced on the Amazon Gov Cloud and uh, last, or a couple weeks ago at, at the Public Sector Summit. Um, you know, the funding, we've seen uh, great analyst validation from Forrester and Gartner. Um, it's, it's really exciting. And one of the really key areas that we're seeing as a massive growth area for us is, is the continued shift to cloud. Um, when we started in, in 2011, it was a lot of on-premise endpoints, um, you know, laptops, desktops, uh, workstations, on-premise servers, virtualized or not. Now we're seeing enormous growth and adoption by, by people who are deploying on the Amazon cloud. And so just today we released our, AW, or, uh, our Falcon Discover for AWS, which really helps you identify both managed and unmanaged assets in the Amazon cloud so you can improve your IT hygiene, which is kind of the first step towards improving your security posture. I think I need to explain what that means because it's a new product. What's, unpack that a little bit, share with some detail. Yeah, so, so CrowdStrike's core product is to, or, or, or core architecture is to install an agent on your laptop or your desktop, whatever, whatever the endpoint may be. That then reports data back to our um, cloud-based cloud platform built on AWS. Yeah. Massive, massive amounts of data, 100 billion events per day, um, which is just an, an enormous amount of data. And when you have that much data, you can, you know, the baselines normalize, and it allows the bad guys to sort of stick out like a sore thumb. The anomalous behavior, you recognize, well, something doesn't look right here. Um, and that, that's how we work. So what we've seen is that there are unmanaged assets, meaning, Assets that are running in the cloud that people don't have, you know, uh, people don't have visibility into. They don't know what's happening on those. It's, those it's cloud dark to them in the dashboard. Exactly, and it's partially um, the result of the viral-based adoption of the AWS cloud that's causing those unmanaged assets to proliferate in people's AWS accounts. Mm -hmm. So now we can actually pull the AWS EC2 API and identify. Okay, here are some assets that that are unmanaged, that need to be protected, it represents a good surface, attack surface area for adversaries to, to come into the environment, and we can then, if you, don't, if you can't manage it, you can't protect it. So now we can help them protect And how do you guys, you push the agent out there, or how does that work? Exactly, so from the, you know, the, 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 the new product actually can work with or without the agent. We're pulling the API. Obviously, to really protect the environment, you're going to want to deploy the, the, the CrowdStrike yeah. agent on that EC2 environment. Stop, you know, block people from, from mm -hmm. phishing attacks, from deploying malware on those EC2 instances, but also giving them visibility. When somebody does kind of circum, circumvent yeah. the antivirus software, what are they doing and how do, we, how do we isolate them and how do we kick them out? Talk about you guys as a company, your relationships with other ecosystems and other partners, because security is a team sport, a lot of sharing, For threat sure. data, threat vectors. How do you guys, do you do any work in that area? Absolutely. That's take a, a minute to explain. That is a great question and that's kind of my role at the company is to build an ecosystem of partners across a variety of different sectors. So, you know, we, we have a great um, uh, uh, business with the, the value added resellers, right? So, so uh, let me back up just one, one step. Actually, we've identified there are six different ways that partners can help protect customers um, based on CrowdStrike technologies and make money in, you know, in, in yeah. the process. And so those six areas really is, you, know, you can resell our product. 
right? Just walk into your customers, say, hey, look, you know, there's a, there's a new mousetrap out there, it protects you better, let's sell it, you can kind of build some margin into those deals and help, help the customers. And they can wrap services around it too. Absolutely, that's, that's step two. Particularly managed services, yeah. right? Um, there is an enormous shortage of technical talent in the security industry, and a lot of partners are building managed services based on CrowdStrike's technology. Third is OEM. We're actually seeing companies bake CrowdStrike technology into their That's nice. service and technology offerings. In fact, AWS does that with Guard Duty. They build our threat intel into the Guard Duty service um, you know, from, from the get-go, so customers who are using Guard Duty are actually taking advantage of CrowdStrike's threat intel data. Right. Um, we then also have uh, uh, the, cloud, the cloud and the cloud marketplace, right, which um, is uh, relatively new offering from CrowdStrike. We just went on the AWS marketplace in February and we're seeing enormous traction well, there. Think, let's just take a step back. I'll just, so I interviewed um, Dimitri about that. I think this is really the key point that I love about you guys is that you guys were not necessarily um, pitching Amazon to be a customer. You built the company on Amazon. That's <laughs> right? correct. It's like, hey, duh, and they're like, oh, this is damn good. So then they start looking at it because you're on there, they know you. That's right. So, so it's you know, pretty easy to turn on the marketplace, throw a switch, basically. And I mean, oversimplifying it, but I mean, it, it, if I'm not, a customer, you're already native to AWS. Absolutely. It's pretty straightforward. Not a lot of gymnastics that going on around. So we have to be, we had to be cloud native because of that massive amount of data that I've talked about. The only way you can, you can enable that kind of scale out to process and manage that amount of data is to leverage something like the AWS cloud. So you guys we, have any data centers at all or? I mean, we have a little bit in the data center, but fundamentally, we're, we're a cloud native company. Um, it's, really, it's really a requirement. We see that being the future of the yeah. enterprise data center. Tell about your role at the company, VP of Alliances. What does that mean? Yeah. You've got a team of people, what do they do? They go out and knock on doors and say, hey, you know, we're CrowdStrike, use our product. Is it biz dev, is it more, is it channel? Some of each, absolutely. Okay. So we're focused on building out an ecosystem of partners that really help those partners understand how to protect their customers using CrowdStrike's technology. Yeah, who's whether, watching, if someone's watching right now, uh, how would they know if they're a partner or a customer? Um, how, well, I mean, we, we do have a website where we list all our partners, um, so we've- Or a we've, potential partner. If I want to be a partner in CrowdStrike. Yeah, absolutely. Is you it can, obvious to me, or is it you guys have to you certify can, me? Or? Yeah, you can go to our website and you can apply to be a partner right there on the website. Okay, we'll it. have people who will respond and evaluate. Okay. We want companies that are really committed to, to, to CrowdStrike as partners. I mean, we've got a great relationship with AWS. We've got a great relationship with over 350. So you're not cattle car carring people in there just to like stack a bunch of partners. You yeah. guys are looking for, you're selecting exactly. pretty precise domain I've, expertise. We've seen some vendors who tag you're a partner and then you know yeah. off you go Barney and deals. you're on your own. <laughs> we really want to help yeah. enable. We want to work yeah. collaborative, co collaboratively with our partners to make sure they're successful, make sure their customers yeah. are su successful. How big is the company now? Uh, it's about 1,300 people. We just yeah. raised uh, an E round, $200 million. It was valued at a little over $3, $3 billion. So growing really rapidly yeah. and, uh, and doing great in the market. Yeah, that's awesome. Congratulations, it's great stuff. What should folks learn about, uh, what should folks know about CrowdStrike if they're hearing it for the first time? What should they know about you guys? Why you guys are relevant? What's the value proposition? Sure, so I mean, it's, it's, um, it's kind of a, 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 a generational inversion that's happening in the security space. Attack vectors are new, the adversaries are new, they're very sophisticated. Um, data center architectures and endpoint architectures are new, and legacy vendors haven't kept up. And so we spotted a, 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 an opening in the market and you know, disrupting the dinosaurs in the industry yeah. like crazy. I mean, really taking market yeah. share from the legacy vendors in this category, uh, left and right. I mean, and it's validated by Gartner Magic Quadrant, Critical Capabilities yeah. Report, Forrester Wave that recently came out like two, three weeks ago. I it's don't really like, put a lot of stock on those things. I think at the end of the day, how many customers you have really kind of ultimately is, because it's such a moving train, right? Sure. How do you do a magic quadrant on the cloud? It's so horizontally scalable, right? It, I mean, it is I changing mean, rapidly, like, absolutely. Yeah. And we, we saw uh, over 150% over, uh, uh, growth just yeah. in the last quarter alone on cloud yeah. endpoints that are being protected by, by CrowdStrike. You guys done a great job. Congratulations on all the success. CrowdStrike uh, looking really good. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank Matthew Folly, Vice President of Worldwide Alliance for CrowdStrike, hot, growing company, no longer a startup, big funding, a lot of employees, changing the game on security, making the cloud, born in the cloud, changing the cloud. That's theCUBE, we're born in the cloud as well. 
bringing you more cloud coverage here in New York City live. Stay with us, I'll be right back.